Hey guys and gals, how you doing? I'm gonna show you a quick way that I make galaxies. Maybe you can use them as portals, um, wormholes, anything of that nature. But I'm gonna show you a quick little way I like to do it. Oh, it's three simple: red, orange, gold, some black. So you don't spray with so much. Spray a little bit of yellow down there. A little bit of orange, a little more red, maybe off to the side for some other effects I'm going to show you. They cover all this in black. Just one thing that I can show you how a lot of you guys ask questions about the paint starting to bubble up. Although sometimes that could look really cool, even in this situation, the less paint you use, the less it needs to blend with each other. So that right there is got kind of, a I covered it, I didn't triple thick cover it, I just made sure it was covered. This is where sometimes I like to do this technique, and move the cans out of the way. Maybe take a, um, one of the few times you'll see me do this, take a lighter. I always use like the plain white. And I uh, really just do it to kind of heat seal, because I want to take the plastic I like to use. Instead of just laying it all down, slowly just reveal the paint that's beneath that you used. You can slowly start to see the paint come up. Alright. Cover some of this in again. There's not much black over there. Alright. This is where I'll take the plastic and I like to peel it apart get a lot smaller pieces with little stringy bits on the end that can give you cool effects it's still almost a little too wet so the more you're letting it dry the more you can kind of lay this down and it'll stick to it and leave cooler imprints but this is a way remember all that yellow and orange I laid down if you keep applying this you'll start to see that yellow and orange creep through I think it's a cool, subtle way to bring it out from the center. And the harder you kind of stamp it, the more you'll see the paint coming off. You know, like sometimes I like to stretch it, kind of use it off onto the side where it start to dry. Lots of vehicles and motorcycles around here. All right, so you start to see. All right, all right, now it starts to get brighter. It starts to reveal more of it. And I like the way that that's starting to look. Even if you just did something like that. Now I'm going to take this red, spray it off to the side. Take some of that same plastic. Do the same thing that I did. Going to dip it into the red literally like that go up here and add some red bring some of those brighter highlights out I think it ends up looking kind of cool I think maybe you can start to see it coming through Okay, so this could be used for any technique from like portals or like now I'm starting to see maybe it's something developing like a, a wormhole developing out of nowhere and it brightens up out of black thin space so any of any of those effects you're looking for well, I kind of like that I'm gonna stop there now I'm gonna take some of this cheaper yellow and the white Walmart white essentially both these are Walmart essentially I'm going to lighten this up in the middle. Spray super light till you get the look that you want. So now you're starting to see it kind of come alive. Even that right there is cool. I think I'm just going to add a little bit of white in the middle. Hopefully if I can get it nice and straight. Bam. Maybe that right there. Now add a couple stars. 
off into the side. Not a lot, just some. Maybe you can see a couple in the background I've added. Yeah, I think, I think it's coming through. Not a lot, because I, I don't want it to be too strong. But that right there is a simple way for you to do. Now you can start to add maybe another planet in there if you wanted to. Might even go back and add a little moon when this video is done. I just want to show you a quick way of how you can just use some basic colors, some black, a little bit of white, and just and make a cool scene. Alright guys, see you next time.